As an organisation, I think we bought our first drill off Sandvik in 1988. So it's been a long relationship and, and on the whole a pretty healthy one, I think, for both parties. We've stuck with the Sandvik product, particularly in the drill space, for a long period of time now, for all of that nearly 30 years. We need uh, top class, good gear, hence we use Sandvik drills and trucks on the sort, um, and then cut wood. Dundee's a, a lot of small ore bodies all over the place. It's um, very spread out. We run three different mines here, three different portals, um, two are linked, and it's getting bigger and bigger. On, under the original plan, Dundee would have been on its way to winding up right now um, and closing the gates. Northern Star have uh, found more ore bodies um, and more work, and uh, at the moment it's got 10 years plus mine life. The Ford 22i is a fixed rail jumbo, um, boring only. So we run a couple of um, sandwich drills in front of it, bolting, and it goes around and drills all our development. We've seen good improvements since we've had it. We've halved our overbreak. Um, you know, it's well below industry standard now here at Jundee. Um, we've seeing better and better um, advance per cut as we got used to the, the system, the ground and the machine um, and we've got more confident in its auto drillability. We're drilling probably half a cut over shift change, a cut for free every day of dead time before we lost. You know, if you add it up over a year it's, it's good metres for nothing. Select the sequence pattern and um, pretty much put it on auto. Um, come out here, we have to put a flashing light with a sign and a, a witch's hat and then jump in the ute and then off, off we go. Nine times out of ten, at the sequence finished by the time the cross shift comes down. There's been a number of productivity improvements, being able to extremely accurately control the level of overbreak within design tolerances uh, has been fantastic. The additional savings we've realised through less ground support time, cycle time, less scaling, those kinds of things has been better than we expected. And then the final piece has been we've been able to realise gains through using the automation between shifts. So when no operator is present, we've been able to consistently have the machine drilling on in auto mode. Every additional metre you can get on auto drilling is just straight to our bottom line for the productivity in dollar cents. You know, we find that the 4-2-I will out-drill one bolting rig every day. You know, we need two bolting rigs in front of it to keep enough headings for it to keep drilling at its optimum. The reports it generates are just uh, mind-boggling more information than you could ever want of every cut, every hole that the machine drills. And we use that to train the operators as well, you know. It's actually really user friendly, the, um, the computer system there is very self explanatory. Not having to mark your face up too, all, you, all I'm going to do is putting in a cross on the face and a back sight and then write all my um, measurements in there in the computer system and um, you, you're drilling sort of within five minutes and plug it in sort of thing. We're getting a better result, we're getting nicer looking drives, over rakes less so we're not trucking dirt that we shouldn't be trucking, the ground support's better, uh, easier to put up. You know, we're taking a lot of the human error out of the mining site. Um, and automation is just is key 